This is the new Facebook uh, Oculus Quest. It's the most portable VR with six degrees of freedom ever created. It allows you to take true VR experiences with you wherever you go. But with inside out tracking, can we push it too far? Can you really use it anywhere? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back to Unbox Warehouse. I'm Mike. Um, right here I have the all new Oculus Quest. I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of videos going around. Um, they're all pretty much the same. They talk about how great this thing is. So I wanted to do something a little different. One of the things that makes this Oculus Quest amazing is its portability. The fact that you can have six degrees of freedom anywhere. So we're gonna put that to the extreme test today because over here downtown are some trains or like trams and they're free and normally there's no one on there and there's a pretty good little play space in the middle. So I'm gonna test this thing out and see if it'll work on a moving tram. That's pretty cool. So the tram we're trying to get to, to test out this Oculus Go runs on these tracks right here under the bridge. But we gotta go way over to that blue bridge over there, cross over and go to one of the stations where you can get on it. So it's gonna be a little journey. So we gotta drive over that bridge and then go over to that side of the river. And that's where the train station's at. By the way, this is Jacksonville Landing. This is where that shooting happened at that gaming event, a uh, horrible event. But unfortunately, all this is being torn down here. Uh, everybody's been ordered to move out and this will be no longer. Who knows what's coming? So the tram is up like three stories in the air. You gotta ride this escalator. But you know what? All this is free. Thanks, Jacksonville. Okay, so a train comes here every eight minutes. We're gonna hop on this thing. We're gonna try to set up and play Beat Saber on a moving train. It's a dumb idea, but you know, what are you gonna do? I see a train coming. There's one here. Okay, so we finally got the train car to ourselves. I'm gonna bust out the Oculus Go. We do have these poles in here. I don't know if they're gonna mess me up, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Here we go, this is Oculus Go on a moving train. Now the Oculus did have some major problems working in this environment. Just when you would set up the Guardian, it would move out of the way because the train was moving and it would lose tracking. Anytime the train would go around a corner, the headset would just go dark and tell me I need to reset up a Guardian. Okay, it doesn't work. Tracking lost, something went wrong. Finally, on a straightaway, I was able to set up a real ugly shaped Guardian and start playing. Although the Guardian would drift around a bit depending on how much the train moved. The controllers were also all over the place. Okay, I got a Guardian built. Let's see if anybody gets on, hold on. Okay, no one's getting on. This thing has major problems. It cannot be moving, I guess. It's not detecting the stuff in here, it's looking outside, so it thinks the Guardian's moving all over the place, and it's really, really wild to have Please this on in a moving vehicle. Please hold on while the train is moving. Oh. Here we go, we're in it again. I got feet tapers on. It's 
actually working. That is the weirdest feeling to be moving around physically uh, while you're in Beat Saber. It's extremely disorienting to play this on a train. Um, but it works. It's not perfect. It does lose tracking. It does lose signal. Um, the controllers don't track perfectly, but what do you know? It works. This thing is super portable. Oh, I have another idea. Because it has pass-through where you can see the real world, um, I'm going to try to ride the electric unicycle while using the pass-through feature. See how good it is. All right, let's get off this train. It's hot on this train. It's like 100 degrees in Jacksonville today. And this thing's like a greenhouse. So my wife tells me I don't relax enough. I don't stop and smell the roses. So I'm going to do that here for just a second and look at this beautiful view. Okay, let's go. They say that the cameras on the Quest can be damaged by really bright sunlight. And luckily right now it's like twilight. So we're going to head over to this park and try to see if I can ride that electric unicycle using the pass-through feature, which is really neat. I'm not sure if it's gonna work because I think you need to have a Guardian set up for the Oculus Quest to work properly. It doesn't allow you to turn it off. Ugh. So as soon as you get too far away from your Guardian area, it just says lost tracking. Do you wanna set up a new Guardian? So we're gonna give it a shot anyways. So we're at the park. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to set up a Guardian and then do a little test run here to see if it works outside before I get on the electric unicycle. So let's give that a shot. So I can only get like five feet away from the play area before it just blacks out on me. So I won't be able to see the pass through won't work. Um, maybe if I make a little play area and then do circles around it. Think that'll work? So now I've created a little play area and I'm, I can see it over there. So I'm gonna try to ride circles around it on the electric unicycle. See if it works. It works. I can actually ride the electric unicycle using the pass-through. Now, it is a little off, like your dimensions are off. It's like, it's like I have a really little body or something, but you can do it. So there you go. We played Beat Saber on a moving train. It actually worked. Not the best, but it actually worked. Also, I rode the electric unicycle uh, while wearing the headset looking through the pass-through feature. This is what sets the Oculus Quest apart. You couldn't do that on any other headset. This is truly the future. This is my favorite VR that's out right now. Get your hands on one. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe. And I'm going to put a link to the Oculus Quest below if you want to get your hands on one. Check out one of these videos right here and have a good day.